Hey gang, GMapper14 here, and today we're going to be looking at the Google Home. This is the Google answer to the Amazon Echo, which I happen to own, so you will be seeing a comparison video of that in the near future. So, on the box you have Google's new Made by Google logo, which is really just the G with their colors in it, but they are pretty much putting that on everything, saying this is the new Apple logo, but for Google stuff. Uh, let's see, it says, be the DJ, know it all, outsmart your smart home, which I think is already a thing. Stay ahead of the day, multi-room playback and sync. It's pretty much all the features that's running through everything in here. We'll get through that. Um, tune in radio, Pandora, YouTube music, all that cool stuff. Uh, alrighty, let's go ahead and open it. I don't know if I need my knife. I just, oh yeah, just grab the tab here. Okay. So I've been using my Amazon Echo for about a year now, and I really like it. I use it to control my smart home and everything. So we'll see if the Google Home can replace that. I'm already a Google user, so... Okay, here we go. You got a nice little tab on the front. Oh, nice. They're very magnety. I don't think that's a word. Uh, so here we go. It is a lot smaller than the Echo, that is for sure. Uh... Hmm. It doesn't smell like the candle wick thing. <laughs> Anyways. Alrighty. And they said the base is removable. Yep. You can take the base off and put your own on from the store that you can buy different colors, fabrics, and metal and stuff like that. I might put it on right. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. And let's see what's else in here. This is a really nice box setup. Really nice presentation. Plug in is to turn on. Oh, that's very descriptive. Alrighty. And then here's the wall adapter. Oh, oh well. I thought it was going to be USB-C, but it's some regular old circular cable. Oh, well. Not great for travel, but I don't think you're going to be traveling with this thing anyways. Alrighty. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Bum, bum, bum. And it has a G on the power brick, if you were wondering, so you do know what it's for if you have more than one white power brick. The manual says plug it in, uh, download and run the Google Home app on your phone or tablet, which is with Apple phones and Android phones, so you're good there. And then you can tap once to stop and pause audio, circle to change the volume, long press to stay your request, there we go. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. You see that the lights are flashing on there, letting us know that it's ready to go. By the way, like I was saying, the customizable bases, those are the different options right there. I like the white one. It looks nice, but I may go with a metal one just for non-dust collecting sake. All right, let's, let's open up the app on my phone. Go over there to Google Home app, which is the Chromecast app just rebranded for this new Google experience. Select Google Home setup. There we go. It already shows up. Found Google Home right there. Oops. Continue. There we go. Connecting to Google Home. Circle, circle, circle. If you can see right there, it's... It's not doing anything right now. And then, funny enough, I got an email from Amazon right now, and they're probably like, oh, we're still good, we promise. Okay, so now it's going to play a test sound. Yep, I heard that. Uh, where are you keeping this? This one will be in my bedroom. Continue. Connect to Wi-Fi. Continue. And this is a lot smoother of a setup than it would be if you were on a... Um, I'm trying to show you the lights. They're white right now, but it looks like red on the camera. Um, this is a lot smoother than if you were using a, an iPhone because it like forces you to connect to this and go through this, and it's a lot more clunky. But on an Android phone, since they have access to all of the system settings on your Android phone, Apple likes to keep you from doing that for like security reasons. But like the the Android phone can just do all that for you without you having to worry about it. So that's nice. Makes it a little more simple. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't realize you could change it while I was doing it. There we go. That's pretty cool. 
All right, Google Home connected. Sign in to Google Assistant, continue with me. Almost done here. Fetching update. Set location. Yes. Yes. All right, so it's updating now. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. We'll just end on this note, and I'll show you all the cool features in my review video. See you guys in the next video, and watch the sponsor. Mm -hmm.